Okay, so here I'm going to show my slate pens 100 run and show that you need zero consumables, zero blocks. You really don't need anything. You also don't have to use slow fall and go to the back. You can just pull it from start to back. And I think I got this original pull route idea from a YouTuber named like Arya May or something. I believe that's who it is. Um, so definitely check that out. But what I do, just do the standard like 50 pull that most scuff mages are doing. Pull it, no problem. Just keep running a straight line. You're chilling. And and the goal of this is just that you're pretty much auto running the whole time. You're trying to min max. You can use Zanza if you want, but it is really, really not required at all. And so you just go through. If it's a fresh reset, these paths will always be the same by the time that you get there. You just use blink on cooldown, pull every single pack. And then you end up just blinking, whatever, bog shocks come, nova them, continue on. If you take a hit or two, it really doesn't matter. What I try to avoid more than most mages I've seen is trivial grouping them up. You're wasting so much time doing that. And like here you see me <laughs> spacing out because I'm just auto running. And you can just blink through, you can aggro them, really doesn't matter. And this is like one of the few times I group them up is in this tunnel. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm just really buying time so I can blink, get the far pack, and then continue on. So here, blink. And then I'll have blink back up for the ledge blink that I do. Most mages jump up, they block there, and they have to be grouped. Sometimes the mobs get kind of scuffed. It's just monk ass and completely unnecessary. You just go, aggro absolutely everything, blink up on this ledge. You don't need a block or anything. Now, it pulls the boss, you're probably like, oh god. That's intentional. You want the boss to be pulled. And I'll show you why. You're going to end up pulling it regardless. You might as well save time. Everything works. If I end up moving on this pillar, the mobs will kind of bounce back and forth. So just kind of AFK, chill. Let the mobs come a bit closer. Here there's an invisible wall that might scuff up your blizzard, but just cast it on the ledge, and it'll go on the ledge. I cast an entire full blizzard. That groups up the front people a little bit, buys me enough time that most of them are by the ledge, so I can just jump off and get the one really far pack. I'm not having to waste time grouping up, I'm not having to like pull this whole room in one fancy pull. It wastes time. It's completely unnecessary. So while I'm doing this, uh, this is like 400 plus hours of boosting and like little tricks I learned from other YouTubers and yeah. But my goal is just run a straight line. You get a, or you get 96 mobs, I think. You can get more if you really want. In my best poll is 15 minutes and 36 seconds and I know I can get that down because my ledge bounce is undead male is a lot harder than it was as a gnome. I did it as a gnome on BTR and it's so much harder to fall off the ledge. It's kind of funny. Anyways, we blink through those people. We don't have to worry about pulling them because social aggro from the other nagas are just going to pull them. Now here, if same thing, fresh reset, that pack will be in the same spot the entire time. We just Nova. You can cold snap if you want to or if you have water Ellie, you can do that. With my spec, I don't have water Ellie, and I'll show you later on in the video what gear and spec I'm running. But I realized while I was doing this that like 95% to 98% of my damage is all flame strike, and I have infinite mana with the Mara Dagger, so I don't worry about like flat spell damage for frost because it does nothing. All my damage is fire, so I just went spell strike, spell fire crazy crit, crazy spell damage to make up for the fact that I don't have a spell power weapon on. And just a MQG, just because it's easier to get blizzard ticks. You can use Quag's Eye, you can use anything. It, you don't need gear to do this. If mages say, oh, I need this, you can do this in ego gear. It, just auction house bot stuff, it's no problem at all. And there, what you saw is I pulled that whole room. And what I should explain is that that is the only time crunch once you fall off that ledge with the boss is the only time crunch to gather all of these mobs. If you spend any more time trying to group pe uh, people here, you're going to run into mobs meeting you in the water here in about like five seconds. 
So if you're doing this pull and you run into the mobs in the water or the mobs come up to you too soon, it's because you're wasting too much time after you jump off the bridge to gather all of these mobs. So just take straight lines, blink on cooldown, and just keep going. Just run a straight line. Zanza might help a little bit, but these are the mobs I was talking about. Those will meet up with you in the water if you're taking too long in the back half. So here... I'm really not even trying to group them. If they come close to me, like 90% of them are just going to cast Rain of Fire and won't even hit you anyways. But what I'm doing is the back half of the mobs are coming and going to meet up with them. So what I want to do is just kind of buy a little bit more time so the mobs don't end up cutting me off when I take this next corner. So I just let them come towards me. See here. And then I blink. And I just start going towards the two. Now... If you have mobs cutting you off here on the right, it's because you went too fast or you didn't group them up at that little island. So they're cutting you off. That's like the only time where you can kind of let them catch up. Now here, as you see, we have so much time. Zero worry, zero risk. You don't have mobs about to hit you. Everything's there. So same thing in this tube. The only two times that we're really ever actually slowing and kind of grouping that is in this tube going the same direction and then same thing that we did in the first little portion there's no point in wasting a block on that one ledge it's just unnecessary and requires them to be grouped here blink up no problem the trick with that ledge if you're missing your blinks or your blinks aren't going up is hug the ledge and end the blink so that the blink would end in the middle of the ledge if you're missing your blinks, it's because you're either looking at the wall too much or you're not looking for like the middle of the ledge or whatever. But the, the main trick is just hug the ledge. Honestly, if you're hugging the ledge, it's almost impossible. And here, feel free to pause the video as I'm hovering over the gear, just showing you what I have. But as you can see from the icons, it's mainly just spell fire, spell strike. I mean, if you're a mage and you're boosting in slave pens, you can afford this in two, three hours of boosting, not even. Um, you make about 850 gold an hour, honestly more if you're charging, depends on your server. And uh, yeah, if you get the runs down to 15 minutes, you're, you're getting pretty close to breaking 1k an hour. So I think that's the main reason I keep trying to do this is I'm just determined to get it consistently under 15. I'm consistent at like 16 to 18, but the 15 minute runs are kind of hit and miss and like I said that's mainly because of the ledge bounce but as you can see here we're not wasting too much time gathering the mobs and if you see they're already incredibly gathered and we spent very little time doing so and what I'm doing there is I want the boss to be separated from the ads just enough that I can re-aggro the ads here and not the boss so a lot of other mages are trying to do fancy tricks to reset and get XP from the back half of the mobs. Because Blizzard hotfixed and made it so you can't get experience unless you invis reset the mobs. But here I let them pass like that first lantern. I invis. I let them come a little bit close. They can hit you through the wall. Immediately blink. Immediately. Because it will be back up. Do not re-aggro the boss. Go to the little line on the ground and never pass that line. And what we're doing is we're getting aggro without getting hit. And like I said, blink will be right back up. Boss is right there. Avoid the boss and pass the little triangle right there that I'm trying to show. And you will never aggro the boss. And if you ever have bog shrocks do this where you did not social aggro them, you can block, re-aggros, time the melee swings, come out. You're perfectly fine. So ideally, that won't happen. You'll socially aggro them on the ledge. I'm just bad. So I guess that's a good good to show that. that like <laughs> Sometimes you can mess up, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. Do not panic. If you have a water alley, even the water alley re them, perfectly fine. Now we go back to this elbow corner. This is our best friend for grouping if that happens. Or at any point in time, if you're, your mobs aren't very grouped, just use this elbow. You blink under and is, you just waste time. Blinks back up blink back. As long as you're under that bridge, you will not aggro the boss. 
If you're lower level, you will when you come out the sides. But as long as you're line of sight, you won't aggro the boss. So if you're not satisfied with how grouped the mobs are, go back, same thing. Blink immediately, get back, just blizzard the elbow until it blinks back up, go back to the ledge. Don't waste too much time. So like this run, for instance, probably going to be like an 18 minute run rather than like a 16 minute run because I've wasted a minute just regrouping them. But as you can see with that elbow, every single mob slowed. They are all grouped. Nothing to worry about. And if you're trying to jump up on this ledge and having issues, always look to the right when you're jumping up and you'll always get up. If you're looking to the left, it's really hard to jump up. But anyways, we let the mobs kind of come close. They're all grouped. doesn't really matter. And then we go to the kill phase. The famous ledge bounce, which is incredibly annoying, is undead. But this just proves that, like, undead male, no problems. But same thing with the any led, ledge blink. Just hug the ledge. End the blink so it lands on the edge. And you're fine. Now here... There's a very, very, very specific angle, if you're undead, where the mobs will bounce when you take a little step. And if you're falling off like that, it's because you're looking at the wall too much and not to the left enough. So if you can see, I shove my head in that little corner. And what I'm doing is I'm actually just lining up the angle so once I kind of figured out where that angle was, which is just shove your head like direct, like so the camera's looking right into the middle, and then it's just to the right. And then I end up moving over with my keys, going over to the spot between like the two little black dots. And then you have to like hair trigger tap W and S with walk on. And you end up bouncing the mobs back and forth. Take a step forward, they come towards you. Take a step back, they go back. So here, I'm satisfied with how grouped they are. I'm okay with taking a melee from one or two. It's not much of a problem. I know he's going to eventually just group up like that. So what I do is three ticks of blizzard, flame strike. Three ticks of blizzard, flame strike. Three ticks of blizzard, flame strike. If you see me getting off a lot there, that's just because MQG and veins. And now with Mara Dagger, with my fire spec, and just gear or whatever, you're critting so much that you're just actually have infinite mana. And the reason you're using Flame Strike is it's not affected, the ground dot is not affected by AoE cap, right? Where Blizzard is. So for 100 mobs, you'll have infinite mana return, and it's actually taking incredibly hard, and they die so fast. So I'm just using like rank 1 blizzard. You can use max rank blizzard. You will get your mana back. But there's no point. Another like little kind of mini thing that if you really want to. If you use two different ranks of flame strike. It leaves two different taking patches on the ground. I've done that. It saves like for me. I don't know like anywhere like 20 seconds. But I'm very inconsistent at remembering what rank I did before. That's a little trick that helps some people. But like the trick to keeping them grouped here is just three ticks of blizzard. If they're getting too slowed in like a separate, like they're not grouped enough, move your blizzard further away from the ledge so the diameter of the circle is less. And you won't have that much of a problem. If somebody comes close to you, melees you like this, you can either just fall off or sometimes you can just take a right step, whatever. But the nice thing about this is at any point, you can just bandage back up to full. You can buy time to your next Evo, do whatever. So I shove my head just to the right of the, the like corner and then end up backstepping. So this for me, an ideal run, fall off maybe once. Yeah, it's so hard, it's undead, it's kind of hard. But I guess you're boosting. I showed the TSM log there since June 4th. I made like 55k. And I'm incredibly bad with gold. And I've spent all of that. It doesn't count Epic Flyer. So like. You can make quite a bit of money. And honestly. You're wasting your time doing the 50. That's what you use for leveling solo. You're way better off learning the 100. It's a bit more challenging. The ledge takes so many hours to get used to. It's all about the angle though. If you're having problems 
It's just the angle's off. What you'll see happen sometimes if you've done it and you probably get frustrated is some of the mobs, mainly like technicians, the big guys, are going one way, but the rest of the mobs are going the other. That's because you're too angled. And what I mean by that is you're looking to the left too much and not at the wall enough. So when you're taking a front step or back step, for some reason that like type of mob or class of mob thinks that your pathing changed where the other ones don't. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was bad. I'm getting too comfortable letting them come past this pillar. It's like pillar's line of sight, so I you can tell by the time. This is super late. <laughs> I think I just recorded this just to show some friends of mine. I didn't really ever intend to record this. That's why there's no audio. So I'm just watching a show in the background. But you just keep doing three ticks of blizzard, flame strike, three ticks of blizzard, flame strike. There's a few ways to do the like stutter stepping, but I personally like stepping and then blizzarding. But like the main thing is just don't risk it. Don't let them come too close to you until you're very comfortable with like taking a step back and like I said if you're falling off it's probably your angle you're not to the left enough like you're looking at the wall too much or not enough um, or you're probably pressing S for too long like if I press my key all the way down I'll probably fall off I have to like hair trigger tap it it's kind of annoying as gnome not so much it happens but not nearly as much but as you can see here, mobs are already starting to die. I should also mention that like the boosters, they zone in the portal and do not move. I if you're making your boosties run to the tube, you're doing it wrong. You're overcomplicating it. Nobody wants to pay a boost where they can't just AFK completely. So they just like, I even get, I even like, the, there's an add-on to follow. You just get people to follow you out. Reset it, put them on, get them to follow you again, and then zone them back in so they can just hard AFK. <laughs> and yeah, here's my spec. I was just trying this. It's actually probably the fastest clear time spec I've seen for myself, that is, because I didn't really need pet. It's a nice little safety thing, but I just wanted more fire damage, more crit, just because. The, you can see in the bottom right on details it's 2.7k dps that's so bad the highest i've gotten is 4.2k that was my like 15 minute 30 second run or 15 minute 20 second run and i fell off the ledge like two or three times so yeah here i'm just kind of showing off the stats the crit i'm pretty geared but like i said the spellfire spell strike yeah 18 minute run i guess that right yeah 106 mobs it's not actually 106 mobs because it counts the like menu's healing wave totems as a kill. And then I think it killed one rat as well. So it's really 10 mobs off that. So 96, like I said, yeah. But yeah, you end up looting. Um, I wanted to cut it here, but I'll keep going because there's some other tech. Running back wastes so long. It's so boring. But what you can end up doing is just end up looting your stuff, keep it on free for all. Just because you get a lot of raw gold from stuff. If you download an add-on called um, Vendor, you can add a bunch of items to your delete list. And you just press a key button, it deletes everything. So that's what you just saw, got spammed in chat. So like you go to the list, you end up going to destroy. And then I just added everything that's sold for like under like 60 silver or something like that. And then I just, there's the settings, I press a key bind. I think it's uh, F11 is what I have it set to, and it ends up um, deleting all those items because you will get very annoyed. So like here, I even Addy begs delete me, press the keybind, deletes those items. That is such a godsend. And uh, add-on's name is just Vendor, you can see it in the chat. Anyways, once all the mobs are looted, you can end up making mana gem, drinking, buffing up again. Because as soon as you go back, you're good. So when you're learning this, do not charge people full price and take one hours, two hours. There was like one time when I was learning it. It was like 
eight hour day only did it successfully twice I'm not charging people you're wasting their time so here's the tech you just log out in the water you don't have to run back yeah see I wasted two minutes looting there it's gonna me that was a really that was a slow run once you get that down to 15 minutes yeah so yeah normally 15 to 17 minutes yeah, exactly yeah you're good and then as soon as you go, just log back in instantly. And you are at the front of the dungeon. Voila. And then here, just zone out, do it again. Thank you.